what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode of the walking dead happy thursday to y'all um this is my final episode of recording today i recorded three already this is number four for me today today is still saturday for me but it is thursday for you guys i appreciate y'all for checking these video out throughout the week man you guys have been killing it hitting that like button leaving comments i appreciate y'all man y'all already know i'm enjoying the season season eight still sitting at a seven out of ten for me um and i'm not gonna waste any time here on the intro i have all i have to say for the review jadis has negan it's all you need to know and that's how the episode ended let's jump into the next one I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so the war started. Um, whew, didn't get an update on Negan, uh, but we got the attack, and they did well. They did pretty well. I'm not even going to lie. Maggie did her thing, leading them and all that good stuff. And to really see, to see her in that role was very, very good. She leading. She's the leader of the hilltop, no doubt. But that little kid, because he just won't listen, almost got himself killed. I think they probably took him. Maybe. I don't know where you went. Quite frankly, I'm going to be honest. I could care two shits about this kid because <laughs> I know that I know that's a very sad thing to say, but he's such an insignificant character at this point. It's just like, why? Why are they including that? Um, I think that's the part about the episode that I didn't like the most. It's just like, what is with this Henry story? This Henry story, I get it. You want revenge for your brother. I get it. You know, but it's kind of like stretched out too much with this this storyline with this kid it's kind of like stretched too much so it's just like come on just you know it's just like you're not that great of a character for me to care that much about um so just get it over with just let him kill that they should just let him just kill the dude just let him kill the dude in my opinion just let him kill the dude get it over with and we could have been done with that storyline but hey it is what it is. He, they use them to open up the cage, which any rational person will do. But we all know kids are irrational. They don't really think things through before they do it. He thinks because he has a gun. You know what I'm saying? But all they really have to do is just rush him. It's not like he can mow them all down um, before they rush at him. Even if the walker in the cage did not attack. You get what I'm saying? So... At the end, at the end of the day, this was about the battle, and then them getting, you know, scratched by, you know, them getting sliced by those augmented weapons, right? Um, so I knew that that was going to happen, and I was just waiting for it to happen because when from the first time the dude got cut, I was like, this is going to be an issue. He's going to turn, but they don't know. So this is how. They're going to get inside. It's got probably, I don't know how many people they got, but it looks like at least 10 of them died. Looks like at least 10 of them died. So, um, you know, what else? It was a battle. It was a good battle to watch. Um, everybody came in clutch and, you know, sent back Simon and, and Dwight running. The confusing thing is this. Is Tara going to die? I don't think so. And that's the thing. Like, it's very vague. If she does, it's not really that big a deal to me, to be honest, because I don't necessarily like her character that much. I'm okay with her character, but it's not like it's a big deal if she dies. You get what I'm saying? Like, I never really cared for her character that much to shed a tear for her you know what i'm saying because she became very annoying to the, in this season so it was kind of like i don't know i don't think dwight 
dip the arrows. I don't think so. I never saw him doing that. So I don't think his arrows were tainted. If he's the one that shot her, I don't think Tara is going to die. If she is, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to let me know if I probably missed that scene. Um, or I just not remembering seeing him dipping. I know everybody was doing it. So it's a possibility that he might have dipped the arrows in the guts. Who knows? But we'll see how things turn out. As I said, I'm still until she dies. I'm not going to believe she's dead. I don't think she's going to die at this moment. I'm having doubts about that. That's the, that scene is still pretty sketchy. The way how it was shot was not great and that's the reason why it's a little bit confusing about who shot Tara because it looks like she got shot after she turned around I'm probably going to have to look at that scene probably a couple more times and pay attention to every aspect that was shown on the screen because it was a wide shot so it's kind of like the way how it was done you can't it kind of like you can't you kind of have to watch trying to catch the whole scene at once is just kind of a little bit confusing i didn't want to rewind it again to see it but i still didn't really catch what happened i know she got shot but who really shot her was it the white maybe he's the one that was there with the bow and arrow so it could have been him i'm guessing that it was him that shot him and that's the reason why they're worried but at the same time did he save Simon. I don't think Dwight has turned against them. I don't believe that, but we'll see what's going to be the aftermath. I won't be watching this show again until next week, Saturday, so we'll figure out how things go. So you guys just let me know in the comment section what you think really happened there, or you could tell me what happened in the comment section, whatever the case. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward. As I said, my rating for it hasn't dropped yet um there's things that they could have done better yes i think somebody was talking about the direction of the show like this season wasn't directed by the same director they had to switch things up going forward because they were losing some of their audience and all that and all that stuff and i could see why people not necessarily leaving the show but i could see why people were disappointed in season eight i really do see that i really do see that i'm enjoying season eight for what it is it is not the greatest season of the walking dead but you do have those seasons in tv shows that you're not going to enjoy as much as you enjoy some seasons it's going to happen it's still not a it's not a breaker for me it's not a deal breaker for me when it comes on to the show but you know what i'm saying they are doing some things that are really really not hitting for me but at the same time it's still enjoyable at the end of the day, if they, they have three more episodes to convince me so I can give this sh give this season maybe an eight, maybe an eight and a half, depending on what they do for these last three episodes, you, you will see my rating at the end of the season and what I overall think about the season, okay? So thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment in the comment section, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you very much. Appreciate y'all. Peace.